Hey everyone, my name is Tyler and it is the Friday video of the year and this week I gotta address something cause some of you get a little upset when I don't, you know, beat around the motherfucking bush on Twitter and tweet at your favorite celebrities and be all like, hey Zac Efron, I think that your work is great and that you're really pretty and blah 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 because blah 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 No bitch. If I got something to say, I'm not gonna lace it up like I'm a fucking polite ass motherfucker just because I'm on fucking Twitter and tweeting directly at them. No, bitch. I will say exactly what I want to say. And just because I say, as Zac Efron, sit on my motherfucking face, does not mean that you weren't thinking the same motherfucking thing. So shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Okay, bitch? But I know not everyone is as forward as I am, but you know what? You do you, I'll do me, it's, it's whatever. We can all do whatever the fuck, I'll corn. But I am here today to teach you some ways to say sit on my face a little bit more politely and poetically, so enjoy. Sit the fuck on my face like I'm a motherfucking throne and you're the motherfucking king. About to rule all this motherfucking land like manifest motherfucking destiny. No bitch, it's man, I'll fist your motherfucking destiny, child. Sit the fuck on my face like it's a motherfucking placemat and we're sitting at the dinner table and you are a delicious steaming meal. Sit the fuck on my face like we're in a motherfucking airplane and I'm the motherfucking seat and you just put your fucking luggage up on top and you sitting down but you can't recline because the pilot said no reclining and no electronics until we motherfucking take off, bitch. Sit the fuck on my face like it's motherfucking story time and my face is carpet and you got to get all comfortable like crisscross applesauce all sitting on the motherfucking ground so you can listen to the motherfucking story, bitch. Girl, you best sit the motherfuck on my face like you're a motherfucking curiosity rover and I am Mars, bitch. Sit the fuck on my face like I'm a motherfucking big ass rock and you just are somebody who likes to sit on rocks, bitch. Sit on my face like I'm a motherfucking high slide at a public pool and you wanna go down it all wet and wild. Sit the fuck on my face like I'm a motherfucking toilet and you got to take the dirtiest <laughs> dump in the fucking world. <laughs> Don't shit on me. Both of you motherfuckers better sit on my face like I'm a bicycle built for two. Okay, bring your helmet, hunt, see? Sit the fuck on my face like I'm a motherfucking seat of a pogo stick and you ready to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh girl, you look tired. Here, here, have a seat. Let me just clear the area so you can sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck on my face like I'm motherfucking me and you're motherfucking you and that's your ass and this is my face and nobody's got time for motherfucking similes and metaphors, motherfucking bitch. And with that, I think we all know now how to properly flirtatiously tweet at all of our favorite celebrities. So, you're welcome. So this week on Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook, I asked you guys what is an alternative way to tell somebody that you think is attractive to sit on your face. And these are some of my favorite responses. You guys, I think we're onto something here. I think this is the way, these, just here, you use all of these and then report back as to how they work, okay? Let me know. So comment below. I want to know what you guys think. What are your favorite alternative ways, much like the ones I told in this video, to tell somebody to sit on your face? I'm going to be picking some of my favorites and putting them at the end of my next video. This is the most ridiculous question I've ever asked. So last week, if you recall, I made a video about how much I love Honey Boo Boo's family and how all the crazy things that Honey Boo Boo's family does remind me of my own family and probably your families. And I wanted to know what are some crazy things that only your family would do. And these are some of your responses. Your guys' families are all amazing in your own fabulous ways, but these were just ones that stuck out to me, so I hope you enjoy. You guys, tell your moms and dads I say I love you. But that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a fabulous week ahead of you, but don't go yet because I have a special announcement. I know, crazy, I know. Be sure to follow me on Twitter because I have a lot of things happening this weekend and next week and I'm going to be with a lot of special guests. I'm going to LA. I have a special guest coming here this weekend. There's going to be a lot of live shows. So be sure to follow me on Twitter because there are going to be a lot of fun, amazing things that you don't want to miss out on. So yes, that is all. The link will be right here and below and that's just great. Okay, that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a wonderful life. Goodbye. Sit the fuck on my face like I'm a motherfucking toilet and you got to take the dirtiest. <laughs> Sit the fuck. <laughs> Sit the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, that's disgusting.